setting FIA, I just wanted to show you an easy way to create as many different chord substitutions as you possibly could want to. All right, very easy concept. All right, it's going to be for um, very easy concept, all right, to kind of get and understand. All right, um, I'm going to be in the key of C for the most part in this video. All right, just to kind of get the concept out to you, uh, but it works. It works wherever you are on the keyboard. I haven't played a lot of these chords yet that I'm going to be playing in C, so bear with me on that. Uh, I've been practicing them in a different key, uh, but I definitely want to share them with you. Hopefully, they may help you out. All right, so basically what we're talking about here, we're talking about any time we're playing a five chord, all right, and we want to play one of them different, you know, chord, diff chord substitution, something different, than a typical G07 chord. Alright, so um, I'm going to use the hymnal Altar Jesus I Surrender. Right, I'm going to use that um, hymnal because a lot of people know that song or are familiar with that melody of that song. Uh, so I'm going to kind of use that to get my point across here. Um, the chord substitutions that I'm talking about. For the most part, the best place to do them is on a five chord. Anytime there's a five chord, so anytime I'm playing this G7 chord, I'm pretty much allowed to play any kind of chord substitution that I would want to play. All right, all right, any kind of chord that I want to play on that. I'm going to show you how to create these chords and what I'm doing to kind of see, just figure out on the fly what chords that I want to play. All right, so. The melody note for that five chord, all to Jesus, is that D right there, all right? So the rule is I can play any chord I want to in my right hand just so long as I keep a D in the chord and preferably at the top of the chord, all right? To be the, the note that's most recognizable because it's at the top of the chord. All right, so let's talk about this left hand first. All right, usually what happens is instead of me going from all to Jesus, all the way down to a G7 chord, I don't like to skip around that much. I like smooth transitions. So instead of playing my G7 like this, I take these same notes, G, B, D, and F, and I play B, D, F, and A. And that'll give me the third, the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth of that G7 chord. You don't always have to play this. It's called a rootless voice. You don't have to always play that G down there. All right. So I got this G7 playing, up, but I'm playing it, and it sounds the same. Listen to it. Versus, the only difference is that bottom sound. But the tritone is what gives it that sound. I don't want to go in too deep into that. But the tritone is going to allow you to play that, no problem. All right. So with that said. Instead of me playing a G7 like this, I typically would play this inversion, which is a, fir a first inversion G7 chord. I have a B, D, F, and A. Typically, a lot of times I can I'll leave a D out, and sometimes I'll leave the F out and just play a B and A, which is get also giving me a, a root and a dominant seven feel. All right, because of the B and the A. All right, so at the bare minimum, though, probably play B. F and A. Alright, you can add the D if you want to fill it up. Alright, so that's going to be the chord I'm going to use every time. So the sound is going to go down to my 6 to my A minor chord. Alright? Now, my chord substitution, like I said, is going to happen on that 5 chord. My melody note is going to be D. The rule is I have to put the D inside the chord. So the first chord I'm going to try is the D major chord. Problem with this, the way that I'm playing this D, F sharp, and A is the A is the top note, and that's not the melody note, so it sounds awkward. Listen to it. You know, kind of sounds awkward. So I would want to invert this chord, put the D up top, and play my D my D major chord like this. And I have that I surrender still going on. Alright, so that's where that comes from. D major inverted, first inversion, down to my sixth chord. The voice that I'm going to pretty much use, I got an A, C, E, and 
the G, my left hand an A7 chord, my right hand I'm playing a C major chord, but I'm playing an inverted E, G, and C. So I'm going to pretty much resolve to that chord every time. So we got D major, down to the A minor. Alright, next, the next possibility that I can do, I can play a D minor chord. Which, which is not gonna, and what makes it interesting is the notes that are not in the C major scale. So if I play a D minor chord, D, F, and A, and invert it and put the D up top, I have F, A, and D. It's not really that fun because there's notes that are in the regular scale. Uh, not really that interesting. So with a, that F sharp kind of changes the chord up a lot. All right. Next possibility, I would just want to go up the scale and see what D is and, rev and where D is compared to that note. So, in the key of E flat, the D is my major seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right? So, with it being my seven, I can just simply play an E flat major seven chord. E flat, G, B flat, and D up top. All right? So, I can play that over this chord here. B, F, and A. Let's hear how that sounds. Alright, right down to it. Probably take the D out down here. If you wanted to read these chords out, you can. Alright, you're going to compare everything to G, because remember it is a G7 chord. So, Play like this. From G, I got my root, my major third, my dominant seven. D is gonna be my sharp five in the key of G. I got my root. B flat is gonna be my sharp nine. And D is gonna be my five. So it's a G seven sharp five sharp nine. All right, that's not important though. All right, next possibility I can do is instead of playing my E flat seven. E flat major seven chord like this with the E flat, G, B flat, and D. I can also play that voicing of an E flat major seven. That's gonna give me my major seven first instead of my root. So I got a D, G, B flat, and D. All right, that'd be a typical E flat major seven chord that I would play. Instead, I'm gonna play it over the same tritone, I'm sorry, the same tritone, all right, with a B and F, with the so it's pretty much the G7 chord. I'm going to play this over a G7 chord. Alright, but without the G. Alright, so let's see how that sounds. See how easy you can just come up with these kind of chords? Alright, from chords that you already play most of the time in different keys. Alright, let's go up to E. D away from E is the dominant 7, flat 7. 1, 2, E major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, flat seven, all right? So I would just simply need to play an E7 chord. E7 chord will work. So, all right? E7, once again, it's E, A sharp, or I'm sorry, E, G sharp, or A flat. B, D, up top. Also, instead of playing that, a lot of times when we play a D7 chord, we'll usually play it like this, with the D at the bottom and leave the E out right here because we'll have it in the bass. All right, so taking that same concept, play that same chord over the B or the G7. these chords yet in this key. Alright, but the same concept. Alright, probably want to resolve it, you know, a little bit different than that. Alright, let's look at it. I'm just giving you possibilities, showing you where these chords come from. Uh, another possibility, um, away from F, well we don't want to do F because F is nothing but the D minor chord inverted. Alright, so that's not interesting. Uh, F sharp is not gonna uh, not gonna be interested because well you got a sharp five but that's gonna be the same 
chord pretty much as we already been playing. Except we can play a F sharp major with a sharp five, F sharp our main augmented chord. See how that is sound. Let's make it an F sharp. Now a lot of times, like I said, I'm altering these chords. It's like a double alter because um, I'm changing these chords significantly. When we play an F sharp augmented chord, we can also play an F sharp seven augmented chord by playing the dominant seven right here. So I have F sharp, E, uh, A sharp, or B flat, and D up top. So let's see how that sounds. But instead of playing it over F sharp, I'm gonna play it over that same G7. All right, so let's see how that sounds. Let's see if I can get that out. That you can do, let's see. We got F sharp covered from G. You got a fifth, uh, not really interesting. A flat, you got a sharp 11. All right, um, don't really need to go that deep in there. Uh, from A, we got a it's a fourth. All right, so you can look at it as a sus. A7 sus chord would be A, it's just pretty much all fourths. So we got an A, D, and G up top. A, D, and G. That's an A7 sus. Alright, now I'm going to alter this chord because I want my D to be up top. I'm going to go ahead and put my, probably the best way to do it, put the G at the bottom and it's going to give me G, A, and D. Alright, see how I'm just coming up with these chords here? So this is an A7 sus. Just watch this way. So put it up here. See how that sounds. Nice chord, just real easy to come up with just by sitting up and just practicing. Another chord, let's see where we at. We're on A, so from B flat, we got a major third. All right, B flat major chord, good chord to play. Of course, instead of playing it like this, cause we wanna have the D up top, we'll put the F at the bottom and play F, B flat, and D. All right, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna just make it a, put the D at the bottom and double up on the D and it'll give us a, a, deep, a B flat major. Instead of playing it over B flat, of course we're playing it over the G7. All right, let's hear how that sounds. All right, I didn't quite hit that quite right, let's try it again. All right, just depends on what you're looking for, all right? Um, from B, we have a minor third, we can play a B minor chord, we can play a B minor seven chord. See how that sounds. But of course, we're gonna have to invert it, so we'll put the, we'll play it, which is nothing but a B major chord. or B minor chord. So I got my B, D, F sharp, and then I'm playing my D again up top. All right, so I'm gonna take this B, put it here, and that's gonna give me a, a B minor chord, a regular B minor. So let's see how that sounds, play it over G. See, I'm just coming up with random chords that you can play anytime you want to. From C, that's gonna give us a uh, ninth. We'll leave, it, we'll leave that alone since that's the key that we're playing in. And D flat, the interval of a minor second is just, um, I don't know, we can play a, a D flat seven flat nine chord, uh, which is definitely getting, uh, getting a little bit too deep into it. We don't wanna go into those kind of chords on this video. So anyway, to keep it simple, basically all I did was I just went up the scale and I found out what interval 
would D be in that key of the scale of no plane? Like I said, E flat from E flat to D is a major seven. Major seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. From D to E is a and the key of E D is a dominant seven. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Major seven, not dominant seven or flat seven. All right, in the key of, so you just build an E7 chord, all right? In the key of uh, F, we skipped that. In the key of F sharp, it was a sharp five, all right? So we're playing an F sharp augmented chord, all right? Or we can play an F sharp seven, F sharp seven augmented, F sharp augmented seven chord, however you would say it, all right? Just by going to the dominant seven, all right? Playing that over B. Look at once I'm just kind of going through it because I want to make sure you get it. Um, the key of G, where we at? Yeah, G, it was a fifth, so we skipped that. A flat, I believe we skipped that because it was a sharp 11. We didn't want to get into that. A, it was a 11 or a fourth, so we can make a sus chord. So instead of playing an A7 sus like this, A, D, and G, we put the G at the bottom and give us this chord here. All right. favorite ones. Alright, going away from B flat, it was a uh, major third, so we played a B, B flat major set major chord. Alright, and we can we can experiment with a B flat major seven and uh, B flat dominant seven if you want to. You want to really try to it's, it's gonna take away from the chord. Alright, really change the chord. I would just leave it like that. Uh, but anyway, you can take these chords and from B it was a minor third. So we played a uh, a B minor chord in this inversion, all right? Let's just kind of invert it up. You can also play a B minor 7 chord, um, or you can play it, so B minor 7. Hear how that sounds, I didn't do that. B minor 7. All right, so anyway, so anytime there's a five chord, even when it gets too late on the song, all right, when it gets to that five, all right, so now you can start building your substitutions off of the E. So, um, same process over and over again, going up scale to find out where E falls out in that key. So I know this is a rather lengthy video, but I want to take my time and just hopefully that it helped you to where you can create these chords on the fly, you know, as you want to. Alright, so hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.